Robert Menzies Institute at the University of Melbourne is the sixth Prime Ministerial Library in Australia. We exist to uphold the life and legacy and ideas of Sir Robert Menzies, Australia's longest serving Prime Minister. I think the Robert Menzies Institute is of enormous value. Melbourne University was so important to him. This is the university that Robert Menzies studied at as a law student from 1913 to 1918. He then went on to the bar and to state parliament and of course federal parliament, serving for over 17 years as Australia's Prime Minister. After his retirement, he became Chancellor here at Melbourne University. He donated his entire personal library. We are delighted to be able to, in the old quad, that historic heart of the university, bring to you an exhibition that changes over every six months of Sir Robert's books, so you can get a really unique insight into the man himself and what shaped him. There is an abundance of treasures and extraordinarily fascinating items within Sir Robert Menzies' personal library. We have now thoroughly assessed and catalogued over 4,000 books, making careful note of Sir Robert's annotations, as well as inscriptions from leading contemporaries. So many interesting things here. So much Menzies memorabilia. But also items that relate to his life and legacy, such as his uniform he wore when he was installed as Lord Warden of the Sink Ports, and many items special to his family to this day. The story behind the photo is that my parents went to London in 1936 and they went to call on the Duchess of York and my parents took photos of their children, Elizabeth and Margaret, and they signed it. And there it is with the Queen's signature when she was a little girl. Well, I remember meeting them in Sydney stepped ashore for the first time and the huge excitement and the crowds absolutely, you know, screaming with joy. People everywhere, everyone trying to get a glimpse of the Queen. She was just a nice, cheerful, easy, normal human being. We were very lucky to have such a wonderful Queen person as Head of State. My father and the Queen got on very well together and he certainly revered the monarchy. He saw the value of the monarchy. He was genuinely very fond of her and also of what she stood for. The legacy Sir Robert Menzies left Australia is significant across education, foreign policy and defence, nation building and patriotism, our trade relationship, home ownership, wages and the economic prosperity of the Menzies era. All this is part of who we are as a nation. The range of the collection is just enormous and these are not just topics or issues which tended to support his own political or personal views. Menzies has clearly sought to understand all of the literature and the study of a broad range of topics. The Robert Menzies Institute is spearheading a new wave of research into Menzies and his contemporary legacy. We're also very excited at the end of the year to be hosting our second annual conference on coming to power, learning to govern and gathering momentum. We will also be launching at this conference our first book. Our first book, The Young Menzies, looks at Menzies' ideas, influences and early career in a level of detail never before seen and is due out from Melbourne University Press soon. In the national curriculum, Menzies now appears in years 9 to 10 Australian history. This year, the Robert Menzies Institute hosted a successful speech competition about Menzies' beliefs in education and why an educated nation is a successful nation. We need to remember the past if we're going to have any real idea of living in the future. So the fact that the Institute is actually part of Melbourne University, part of where he did his study, he would have been delighted. I am certainly delighted and so is the rest of the family. With your support, we can keep up the good work of the Robert Menzies Institute to bring alive the spirit of a great Australian for the next generation.